Welcome to our tutorial about Macintosh hardware requirements for using Cubase 5. In this tutorial, we're going to review the specific hardware requirements for running Cubase on a Mac platform. To use Cubase on your Mac, your computer must meet the following minimum requirements. You need the OS X at least 10.5.5 operating system, PowerPC G5 with an Intel Core Duo processor recommended. You need at least 1,024 megabytes of RAM, and most computers these days come with much more than this. You need a display resolution of at least 1280 by 800 pixels, and that refers to basically the screen size settings of your monitor. Core audio compatible audio hardware. At least 4 gigabytes of free hard disk space. You will, of course, also need a Steinberg key, and be careful not to lose it, because Steinberg will only replace one license on a key if you lose the key. You will also, of course, need a USB connector inside your computer where you can plug that key. You need a DVD-ROM drive for installation of the software. And you need an internet connection for license activation. Even if the terminal you're using for music isn't connected to the internet, you still need an internet connection to activate your software license, and basically there's no way around this protocol. At Steinberg's website, go to the support page. Now let's scroll down to DAW components. Configuring a DAW. Read more. Here you can find a lot of information about setting up your computer system for working with a digital audio workstation. You'll also see a list of which audio hardware has been tested and it is compatible with Cubase. Now let's talk about your audio hardware. It needs to support stereo recording. You need two inputs at the same time, at least. It needs to support at least 16-bit recording, that's CD quality recording, and a 44.1 kHz sample rate. Again, both of these are required for CD quality recording. You must have a Mac OS X compatible driver, either Core Audio or ASIO. ASIO stands for Audio Stream Input and Output, and professional sound cards or audio interfaces come with your ASO drivers written especially for the card that let it communicate with Cubase and that let Cubase control the card. This is a technology Steinberg developed to synchronize communication between the inputs, the card, the computer, Cubase, and the outputs and to do this with the minimum amount of delay and error. You can use Cubase with the built-in audio hardware on your Macintosh. Some Mac computers have audio outputs but no inputs, and of course this means you can only play back but not record your audio. You'd need to get additional audio hardware to be able to record audio. This concludes our lesson about Macintosh hardware requirements.